This is I'm Stuck, and in this video we are looking at rates of change with respect to differentiation. And first of all, it's simply known as the rate of change of y with respect to x can simply be written as dy by dx. But then this has it can get more complicated when we look at things such as velocity and acceleration, and when you put it in real life context, which you will normally see. So first of all, velocity is simply going to be equal to dr over dt, and this is the rate of change of distance here, that's distance there, and the rate over time. So that's distance and that's time. Then acceleration is going to be velocity there, and time again here. And this is the other bit of notation that we need to know, and this is the, the second derivative, and that's d2y over dx squared. And that's essentially saying that if you had a function, you would find the velocity of that function first, and then you would find the uh, acceleration again. That's done by differentiating it twice. So here we have a question, and that's when r, which is going to be the distance, is equal to 2t cubed plus 4t squared plus 7t plus 9. First of all, what is the velocity? And to work out the velocity, you're simply going to do dr over dt. So as this is r and that's t, then you can differentiate this once. So then using our knowledge from differentiation from uh, the last lesson, you do 3 times 2, which is equal to 6 t, and then the 3 minus 1, so that's 6 t squared, then plus 8 t, and then plus 7. So that is the velocity. And say, for example, we knew that if we added an extra bit when t is equal to 4, that would be seconds for example, then we would just substitute 4 in here, so then we have 6 times by um, 4 squared, which is 16, so um, 6 times by 16 is equal to 96, plus 8 times by 4, equal to 32, plus 7, and that would be, that's 96 plus 32 is equal to 128, and that would be equal to 135. And that would be in meters per second, for example. So then acceleration, what you have to do is you have to find uh, the second derivative. So we have the first derivative here, and the first derivative is this. So then we just have to differentiate this again, and that will get us 12t plus 8. And again, if we wanted to uh, say that t is equal to 4 and use this again, then we just have to substitute 4 in to get 48 plus 8, that's equal to 56. So here we have a question with more of a context. And the question goes, as a skydiver jumps from an ascending plane, and his height of h meters above the ground is given by h is equal to 4,000 plus 3t minus 4.9t squared. So the first thing we have to do is the question split up into three parts, and the first thing we have to do is work out dh over dt, which is the rate at which the skydiver is falling. And this is fairly simple, as all we have to do now is differentiate this, because this is h, and it's given in terms of t. So we know that 4,000 differentiates to get nothing, then 3t differentiates to give 3, then 4 point, minus 4.9t squared can differentiate to give minus 9.8,
t. And this is all meters per second. So we'll put brackets around this and put meters per second. So the next question asks how fast they are falling after 10 seconds. And for this, all we have to do is substitute t for 10. So therefore, 3 minus 9.8 times 10 is equal to 98, which is equal, therefore, to minus 95 meters per second. And it's good that it's a minus because that shows they're falling. If we ended up with a positive result, it would show that they were going up. So that means that they are falling at uh, 95 meters per second. Now, again, now we need to work out the acceleration. And we just looked at how to work out the acceleration. And we have to take the second derivative. So we could look at this one here again. But it's a lot easier if we look at the first um, derivative. Um, which we've already got, and just take the second off of that. So therefore, three, that get, uh, the differential of three is, is nothing, um, and then minus 9.8t just goes to minus 9.8, and that's meters per second squared. And we could just write that as um, 9.8, uh, 8 meters per, uh, per second squared towards the ground um, and it's always this it doesn't matter it says at this time but because there's no t in there we don't need to do anything else so that's how you work out rate of change and look at it when there's a context as well um, it, often you will have a context in this and you just have to know how to manipulate a formula in order to find out its velocity or its acceleration using differentiation so thank you for watching this video and see you soon bye